Hey there YouTubers. Um, uh, in, in, in case you um, you never tend to to finish up watching my most of my videos all the way to the end, I'd like to thank you guys again for your support and for your con continuous um, and selfless su sub support. And uh, yes, of course, that includes, but I'm not limited to to writing down your comments, your feedbacks below my video clip, and. Uh, also um, writing up some sort of uh, replies to to various videos I, I I uploaded and share with you guys on YouTube. So here t um, enough with the pleasantries tonight. I, I like to talk talk about more on 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 on, on mental health. Um, you know, you know, um, nowadays churches and uh, you know some sort of other things like uh, you know why I think God let just let let us live um, live um, to the age of uh, something like 70 80 and uh, but on maximum for for, for for most men not so not exceeding the age of um, 120 so so here's the deal here's my own explanation and interpretation of why. God won't let men, let most men, after Noah, after Noah's um, first generation descendants live the age, um, you know, live past the age of 120. Um, so God um, has has placed Satan to, yes, he's he's um, he's he's preserved Satan and death and all other ferocious, insidious enemies unto, um, you know. And until the day of reckoning, of course, the day of apocalypse, where he throws death, Satan, all other, you know, unbelievers, sinners, you know, all, all, all of them, you know, all the enemies and all the associates and millions of his enemies to the lake of fire or, you know, a.k.a. hell, you know. Um, but um, why does he allow Satan and the uh, other enemies such as death to exist um, for such a long period of time and uh, yes in, in, in fact God that does not want us to have the knowledge of several generations by living past the age of 120 on maximum for, for, for most men because um, you know as we age as we live we gain further and further and more and more experiences, especially experiences with pain, experiences with agony, experiences with betrayal, trials and tri tribulations. So, um, I suppose maybe God, um, God, um, God set such parameters of human maximum longevity of age of 120 for for the vast majority of men, or to say, male human I individuals shall not live past the age of 120. Well, um, you know, we, um, he sets such um, parameters of longevity for most male human individuals because um, as males, we have a, a much higher li likelihood of committing suicide, of killing ourselves, of self-destruction, of committing self-destruction self upon and against ourselves much more li likely than 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 male um than, than female human individuals do t or tend to do um we can easily get ourselves stranded by you know by by, by all the surrounding um peer pressure and pressure and stress and strain from from even even from our parents yes even um, you know, like the Gospel of the, uh, John or, or you know Matthew says, you know, parents and brothers will will will, will betray their 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 brothers and and children to death. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, so probably yes. And, you know, the more you know, the the the, the longer um, we are permitted to remain here on Earth the you know the more the higher level of pain we will experience as our bodies 
will age physically. That will bring us more trials and tribulations, and eventually it will, you know, as we age, as our body, as our bodies start to decay, it will reach to a point where the agony, the excruciating pain, you know, will become unbearable, you know, in intolerable or, or something like that, and uh, that will um, that will vastly in increase the chance of committing suicide, you know. And uh, yes, um, the other reason, I, like 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 men I mentioned pr previously, is that God that does not want, want us to have the knowledge that transcend generations between generations. Um, so that's why he he has he has stipulated that men shall shall not live a shall not live past the age of hundred and twenty. Um, so he, well. In case you feel interested, you, you you can you can read the book of Genesis of the Old Testament. In, in fact, um, so so I am not gonna show show you exactly where. So I'm just gonna let you guys Google um, to pinpoint the exact location of such, of such piece of scripture on the Bible from you know the Old Testament, the book of Genesis. Um, yes, so. Um, and uh, you might ask, um, at, at this point, you, you, you might ask, you might start questioning um, why, um, you know, why, um, I, you know, God that does not allow, um, sorry, why, why, why does God not allow transgenerational knowledge and experiences? It, um, here is my own interpretation and speculation. So you just, um, you know, um, Use that as your for for pure pure references only. It might not since it might not re represent the whole truth, not even half truths. Because you know, I said this based on my own speculations and interpretations, wild speculations and interpretations. Of, you know of, about you know how God tends to think, how God tends to. Um, you know, uh, work, you know, work between the angles to make everything work throughout the entire universe he created, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so, you know, since, you know, whenever you, you go to certain places, you, you will, you will have to not not just you have to, but um, your body will will automatically st um, starts to re will automatically start to react to it, the outside stimuli, no matter where where you go. So, um, however, you know, um, once you move yourself to a, to a completely new place, new places, um, you know, your body will start to detect the subtle differences, but between cities and cities, places and places, and you will begin to have new experiences. And then the experiences will, 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 will soon get assimilated into both of your corporeal body and your spiritual um, mindset, mind or mindset, yeah. And that once those, you know, the experiences, the experiences you just experienced will, will get assimilated and become part of, be, become part part of your your own person in fact you you know um remember what you you know what you have experiences what you have experienced what you have managed to assimilate made what you made the person you are today so um yes so the longer you live the more experiences you will get to experience so that's that's beyond debate right so um so you know once you have transgenerational experiences and knowledge uh, about lives um there's a um i suppose there's a likelihood that you could um, somehow um beat satan in his own game and uh, that kind of goes against god's um original planning um you know plan, plan, planning of salvation for the entire humanity you know um, God wants death to win over our decaying old corporeal bodies. And then, um, 
as part of uh, his grand plans of redemption and salvation for the entire humanity, um, he has to um, use death as some sort of precursor for judgment, for uh, for you know for fully actualizing and accomplishing his his plan of salvation and, and redemption because without death there will be no um, equalizations for everybody so um, you know and uh, w w without death there will you know um, the opportunities to expose to reveal secrets will become um, you know will fail to become viable or possible you know since um, once you allow certain human individual to live you know to live until the age of let's say 600 years 500 years and uh, he or she will will have some sort of uh, some some other some knowledge uh, uh, about how to um how to combat satan and death probably you know and uh, you know by chemical engineering or genetic engineering or something he or she would probably um tweak you know tweak his or her own genes and you know in so doing he or she could manage to live um you know a further hundreds of years of age and uh, you know um once he or she reaches that point he might just um you know um kind of uh, sabotage um god's plan that consist that consists of um some other links of chains of I I events including but are not limited to death in order to equalize um in order to equalize human human individuals and in the meantime provide opportunities to reveal um, hidden secrets and truths and facts about people who have passed away so that is my very own wild speculation interpretation um, yes, so um, on the other hand, I, al I also like to talk about, you know, um, why, you, why we can't get much of a um, psych psychology or some sort of psych psychiatrist, therapist. We, we can't, um, we can't de depend on them that much, at least not, not as much as we, we thought. Um, not at least not as much as we thought that they um, we should de depend upon them so here's the deal I just made some 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 phone calls to to some to some um, let's just say probably self-proclaimed um, you know um, old suicidal OCD specialist and he charges something like 150 per f for 45 minutes session via Skype. Um, you know, 450 U US dollars, in fact. And I think that would just pose some more serious stress and stress and strain for the patients because um, with 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 fees that high, with with you know, with char charges that high. People, you know, um, people will feel deterred and quite uncared for, um, and uh, they also re requested that payment to be made in advance of the the therapy session online via Skype, and uh, you know, um, on the other hand, I found that. Now these churches, the I'd say the vast majority of them are either the um, the so-called you know the so-called what's that called um, according to the book of Revelation yeah the book of Re Revelation me mentioned several um, categories of churches if you turn to your 
Bible and, and you read the book of Revelation, you know, there are several groups of churches or c categories of churches that the book of Revelation have um, has explicitly mentioned. And, uh, you know, um, so one of them is the loveless church. The other one is the persecuted church. The other one is the compromising church. And, uh, you know, the, the, the other one, um, yes. Um, the remaining ones, the corrupt church, the dead church, the faith, faithful church, and the lukewarm church. So what does what does the Bible mean by lukewarm church? It, it pretty much means some, something that, or, or someone that is neither cold or warm. So pretty um, mediocre or something, pretty average. So quite indifferent or indistinctive from the vast majority yeah so as you can see there are only two let's just say two groups of churches that um, that could somehow please God the one being the persecuted church the other one being the faithful church all the way from you know from one two three um, four five six so there are only um two groups of churches that can somehow please god or somehow can can somehow um fit into god's plan of uh, plan of redemption and salvation you know the rest are just are either dead church the corrupt church or the lukewarm church or the loveless church so the book of revelation has already in predicted that the vast majority of churches will do little help to alleviate or to neutralize or even to mi mitigate slightly mitigate your pain that occurs within your your mind your soul your spirit um, because the vast majority of the pastors from these churches they, they won't even have the time to talk to um, not um, not even over the phone not to mention to talk to you in person face to face they all seem super busy with their own affairs and they are not giving a a, a damn piece of shit about um people who who are being either persecuted or you know pe people who who feel so so stranded with their lives with the trials and troubles and tribulations they experience during their lifetime during their lifetime yes so um pretty much whenever i i ring them they do not they they pretty much give you um you know quite lukewarm re responses you know um they don't actually they don't tend to actually offer you any sort of a substantive help other than giving you uh, you know a, a sentence or an expression ex oral expression of blessing you know um, so aside from those you won't be getting much help from them um, so I hope you won't waste any time with them by either speaking to them or the phone or, or, or paying them visits in person because they won't help you that much so far as I can see, so far as I can, I can perceive, based on my um, encounters and uh, you know experiences, um, speaking with them over the phone. Um, yes, and uh, um, there are also some other, um, you know, quite, you know, quite severe issues with nowadays churches. And uh, I like, you know, due to my own time time constraints, I, I, I like to make, I like to um, bring them up to my next videos on YouTube. So in case you feel interested, please stay patient um, until I I figure out a way to um, to articulate. Um, my own thoughts and ideas of, about them and how to and uh, how to find countermeasures against um, you know nowadays trends of, of um, getting 
lukewarm about people's grievances and uh, um, you know you know great grievances and uh, you know suffering and uh, etc so I, I suppose I have talked enough for tonight and uh, thanks again for watching and listening to my videos and I hope you have a, all have a great day or a great night so uh, okay stay blessed stay faithful and stay tuned I shall see you guys on the next video in the next video on YouTube so bye bye cheers and God bless enjoy and hold the line remember to continue to hold the line and endure to the end amen bye bye